Hey, welcome to Stand Up with Charlie's Part 4. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Well, in case you haven't met her already, this is Chiquita. She likes to play soccer. Well, not really, to use her as the ball. Big girl already. So, um, I've been messaging teenagers, and they're like, you know, come over. I'm like, no, you, you come to my place. They're like, well, I don't drive. I'm like, I don't drive either. Can't Dateline give you a ride? I like dogs. Did you know that German Shepherds were actually bred for, for World War II? Yeah, it was like, um, okay, boy, lead those bastards two clicks due east right into the ambush. Yeah. <laughs> If, if you believe that, you probably dropped out in the ninth grade. I dropped out in the 11th grade because my guidance counselor said, you don't need a degree to be a solid gold dancer. However, you do need a time machine because that show got canceled in the 80s. Yeah, so that's why I'm doing a whole lot of nothing. But I still have my dream. I haven't thrown out any of my over-exaggerated dance moves. Do you really believe supermodels when they say that they were ugly in high school and couldn't get a boyfriend? I mean, I was ugly in high school and couldn't get a boyfriend, and I'm still ugly and can't get a boyfriend. I mean, who'd want to date a model? They're always like, how do I look? How do I look? Hungry. So, um, <laughs> I was at the bar the other night, and I was looking through my purse, and this guy and you know, he saw me and he's like, oh, that's a really old cell phone. I'm like, no, that, that's a baby monitor. I couldn't get a sitter. No, really, I, I don't have any kids. I like, I like dead baby jokes, actually. Um, my favorite is the urban legend about the hippie babysitter. Like, the parents leave and the last thing they say is, now put the turkey in the oven and the baby in the crib. And when they get home, the turkeys in the crib. Yeah, when I see a baby in a bathtub, I start throwing in carrots and potatoes. I mean, not for the baby to play with. I'm making dinner. <laughs> no, I'd never eat a baby. They're too salty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to demonstrate the proper way to administer the Heimlich to a baby. Okay. Oh, baby, you're choking. Okay. Like so. Well, you know what? Who gives a fuck? It's a baby. You know, it's not a miracle. There's 200,000 of them born every day. You know, a miracle is like surviving a plane crash. You know? Wait, hang on. Yeah, God? Hey, hi. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's me again. I'm sorry. Um, oh, no, okay. Yeah, we're going to have to put something in the water. I'm thinking maybe nitrous. Yeah, yeah, that might just make them born faster. Yeah. Well, you think of something and get back to me. Okay, yeah, I love you too. Okay. <laughs> so, um, have you ever, like, called the post office to see why you're not getting any mail or, like, you know, wrote the phone company to see why no one's calling you? That's when you know you have no friends. I got one friend. Tom. You know, the guy from MySpace. Um, he messaged me a few days ago to say my account's been deleted due to inactivity. Um, I tried to message him back, but I was too drunk to solve the captcha or the cat, whatever it's, it's, you know, the captcha. It's like that, those like, you know, screwy, blurry letters and, you know, it's like, it's like the breathalyzer of the internet, you know. If you don't want drunken idiots messaging you, you know, saying stupid shit, just make them have to solve this puzzle in order to contact you. You know, there's so many songs about people fucking up cars when they get cheated on. It's like, that's why if I was in a relationship, I would never, ever drive. I mean, yeah, I'll cheat, sure, but no one's going to be taking a Louisville slugger to my piece of shit and stepping away. <laughs> yeah, um... I'm a compulsive email checker. I check my email more than I masturbate. Um, check my email about every 14 minutes. 
Um, <laughs> here's a good way to trick someone. Be like, do you masturbate in front of your dog? They'll be like, I don't have a dog. Ah, would you masturbate? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> some of the best advice I ever got was from a Miss Piggy book. It was, the book's called Miss Piggy's Guide to Life. And it's like, if you're at a party and you need, you know, a way to break the ice or a way to make conversation, you just go into the bathroom, go through their medicine cabinet. Wow, that acne cream you're using sure does work. You look great. You're on Wellbutrin? Oh, you don't need that. Just try Whip It. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed Stand Up at Charlie's Part 4. Until next time.